so I am supposedly dead, am I? I don't. Apparently, well, apparently not. Apparently not. Like I said, Cyrax, the person that you created, is dead. The oh. real me that I should have been this whole time is back. We're so back, ladies and gentlemen. Cyrax has officially stated that he is leaving YouTube and proceeded to do the most Cyrax thing ever and make a channel immediately after that declaration. So we've essentially got this stream where Marty is trying to coerce Chance to come online. He made his whole eulogy about Cyrax dying, which is obviously fake. And obviously it worked and Chance as usual fell right into this little trap. He goes from the stream to making a video about him stepping away from YouTube to him making a new channel and pretending like everything is fine. Mind you, his Call Out Central channel had 2,000 subscribers and he just deleted it. The trolls are going, always going to find you, Goblin. There's no point in running. Well, what's so, the Well, nothing. Well, nothing. You, well, you, say you, you, think that I don't, you don't think I have you figured out? I do. All you're trying to do is stir up trouble. Cyrax has become aware, everybody. He has finally caught onto Marty's ploy. The whole aspect of this operation is trying to make Cyrax rage. You got mainstream names like Danny Brown contributing. However, like a gnat to a spider web, he flew right into our trap and is about to be consumed by a ravenous black widow. You sound like the old Cyrax, like you don't seem a whole lot different. You can say that you are, but you're not demonstrating it. Oh, but I am. How? See, Marty, you just don't get it. Well, explain I've it. I've been you. observing you. Okay. The whole last few days I've been observing you. I've been watching. I went through your whole catalog of streams and I've got you figured out, Marty. Well, explain it to me. It's very simple. Okay. You want to use me for views. Well, you want to use me for money. And if you're not going to get your way, you figure you're going to do whatever you can to get those views. I don't know if you were listening, but I've just laid out there that and pretty much everyone's on board. I think that you're capable of redemption. No, you're not. You are not deserving of redemption. Mm. After every no, I'm, I'm saying that you are capable of redemption. And here's the thing. I don't need to prove myself to anyone. Because oh, you're the same. No. He is the dumbest person to ever try and play a smart intellect. He always says, oh I know, when he in fact is the butt of the joke and has yet to become aware of that fact. He is the same old Cyrax. He can try and run from his past all he wants, but like Marty said, until he redeems himself or seeks redemption, he will forever be our little attic dweller. He also follows up his smart guy talk by completely misinterpreting what Marty clearly said. Marty is already more redeemable than Chance yet he will continue to only hear what he wants to hear. And you are stupid, Marty. See, but, not for, but not for believing in me. See, Marty, the way it works, the, the only one that needs to help here is you. You're, you're, you're the sick. one that needs to redeem yourself. I've done nothing wrong. The things I, and the things yeah. I have done wrong, I have done more than my fair share of redeeming. How, though? Like... We know what you've done wrong, like the, the kids, strangling your grandmother, saying the N-word, but what have you done good to redeem yourself? And here's the thing about that, Marty. What you don't get is this. Since that incident, one, I've not been back to jail since then, period. I've not gone back. have no plans to. Open and shut case, everyone. Since he has not returned to jail, he has completely redeemed himself and cleared his name. Disregard the fact that he's been openly hostile towards anyone who even mentions these past sins. I remember him going on the Blind Billy stream and adamantly being mean and crude towards his victim. This guy has no morals and no sympathy for anything. We are the stupid ones in his eyes. But even when he gets taught a lesson, a la Marty beating him down, he refuses to learn. The low IQ brain damage jester is a recycled joke at this point. Well, actually, uh, Riot and, and Vito and I are actually friends now. Yeah, here's the thing. You're actually not. They, it's you that they have a problem with, and I can show you videos to prove it. Actually not. 
Yeah. I talked to them recently, and uh, they ain't too happy with you and what you did to Riot. And the only reason why they did that was to keep you from going after her. I talked to them, too. And, Marty, by you doing what you did. Look, if you were actually friends with them, you would get them to take the videos down. But they're not going to, because I'm closer with them than you are, and ever will be. I think this somewhat confirms that this whole Vita thing is just smoke and mirrors. Regardless if they are in on the trolling escapades, they clearly are some sort of a relevant sideshow that has no leeway to impacting the carnival as a whole. I don't know. The video they are talking about, and quite frankly, this whole saga doesn't really interest me, so I'm not even going to seek it out. No, according to you, you own me, right? According to you, I'm your property. No, I don't say that anymore. I say that we're equal partners in our expedition of growth. And we're in on it together, so let's grow together. No, Marty, you're just trying to do this to that's get to you. me. Then that's on you. No, that's Then that's on you, Cyrax. I want to grow. I want to be positive. You want to be stagnant. Let's start promoting a Cyrax gospel mission. These two should team up and go around spreading the good word of Cyrax. Hear about how you should treat the little kids in your neighborhood, thanks to Chance's guardianship. Marty has seen the light and is trying to bring his best friend and his partner to the table so that they can influence the community even more. Can you imagine if they both agreed to just help each other earn money? They'd be raking in the dough if they settled something behind the scenes. but. Someone who has an IQ equivalent to the water temperature of my fridge isn't going to be able to solve that riddle. Oh, wow. Look who's back. What's up, Cyrax? One, Cyrax is dead. Stop dead naming Chance. Ree! He no longer goes by that name. He also left the call for like 15 minutes and has come back with a vengeance to really put Marty in his place. Nice Cyrax is gone. And we all know, no, we all know that the reason why you do what you do is because you're gay for me. You got a hard on for me. I know Marty isn't the only guy who is attracted to our little court jester. You know I have been eyeing this bad boy for a long time. Hit me up, Cyrax. Maybe we can set up with Marty as well. I don't know, Chance. Hit me up. I know you and Jake are doing some extracurricular things in order for you to buy more toys. So I know you've probably got some game. Like, that's not how it works, though. Like, you can't... They won't just keep giving you cars. Like, explain how I fraudulently get cars. And that's easy. You go from... You do a candle. You go from state to state to state to state. That's what you do. You bounce around state to state and get these cars from different cities and different dealerships. This argument by Chance continues to be one of the most confusing beliefs that he holds. He thinks that Marty gets cars, purposely destroys them, and then somehow convinces a dealership to give him another car, and then repeats the cycle. Not only is this logic gate irrational, it might be one of the dumbest things that Cyrex believes. This man cannot even stop to think about what he is saying for a moment before uttering the most nonsensical nonsense. Let me tell you right now for a fact, and I can tell you this for a fact, you do not follow the Bushido code the same way that I do. Marty does not follow the Bushido or warrior code. He doesn't have honor, loyalty, or expertise in martial arts. We all know the perennial abuser Cyrax is an honorable, upstanding citizen. He has never done something deplorable and always takes the most rational approach to a situation. He has never lost a fight and continues to represent his family well. In a week, I did more for your community than you have in your whole life. That's a fact. You can't argue with that. You can't argue with that. And Marty, let's be honest. Where, where is there any honor in doxing someone's address? Where is there any honor in that? There's not. This man was stupefied in that very instance. He was sitting there, mouth agape, trying to tie his two brain cells together to formulate a coherent sentence. He proceeds to completely miss Marty's point and move towards him fake doxing someone. I don't think the address that Marty puts out are ever actual addresses, 
I think it's all a motive to trap Cyrax within his lair. Regardless, anytime that he posts an address on his screen, I'm going to block it out. And it doesn't matter where it is. As long as you dance for 50 minutes, five zero minutes a day, I'll leave your girlfriend alone. No, you're going to leave everyone. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. So that's that. If you want, if you wanted to be left alone, then dance. Marty, let me ask this, Marty. Why do you feel like you have to force me to do something I don't want to do? Because it makes you a better person and the world a better place. And that is the wisest piece of advice that you're going to hear, Chance. If you just dance for us every day, you become a better person. Think about it. You would develop some structure in your life. You would get some steady exercise and you'd be able to showcase your skills to a wide audience. Maybe you'd even be able to swing this whole experience into a position in one of America's best dance crews. Maybe you could just go join the Jabberwockies. That's on the plate if you just say yes. Really bad for your girl tonight if you don't race me again. Look, if you're a good racer, then you'll race me again. But you'll put your screen on this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh marty so you, you, you know marty you, you're like that cute little ugly you're like that ugly little puppy dog that ain't very cute honestly one of the scariest situations i have ever been placed in he has straight sewer mouth just a gross mangled mess going on there he laughs because he knows that he can't beat Marty without assistance. The Drift King has never shifted crowns. The Goblin must prove that he is a worthy adversary. Until that is proven, he will continue to be a joke just like we know him. I, I have done nothing but say MF Goon is terrible. MF Goon and those guys are terrible. I've always said that. I've caught you. That's why I've caught you in your private servers talking to him. What do you mean? What, what do I mean? Hmm. Let's be honest here, Marty. That private server that got shut down? Yeah, you were in there with him, dude. You were in there, dude. Chance, buddy, you aren't that clever. Marty has been talking smack about Doom for weeks at this point, so I wouldn't doubt his disdain for that character. Stay offline, Cyrax. No more Fortnite for you. No more lurking in Marty's Discord. You've got that? I'm with this nonsense. No, that no. don't need to be happening, so okay. Marty, do yourself a favor. So, Go after Tony, because guess what? My boy Chevy's watching. Shout out to my boy Chevy, by the way, man. Is this is the last time that we'll ever see Cyrax on Marty's stream. It's quite sad if you truly think about it. He frolics off into the wind, thinking that some watchdog is going to contain Marty. Obviously, he will be able to restrain from coming back, right? As you guys know, I've deleted all the content off my channel because I am actually leaving YouTube for a very long time. But there is one thing that I want to say and get off my chest that I've been holding back. This is his goodbye video. He gets off of Marty's stream and says that he is taking time off from Marty and from YouTube. He doesn't want the hassle that comes from all of this. But guess what, Buckaroo? You can't run from the trolls. The trolls are like fleas on a sick dog. They will find you time and time again. The sooner you accept them, the easier it will be. Just as an example, they found this channel of his when he had like 50 subs. I don't know how they're discovering this guy constantly. It's bizarre. I've been physically sick because of people like Music Biz Marty. It's mostly because, if not all of because of Music Biz Marty. I have been physically sick. Um, I've dealt with a lot of depression because of it. Ayo, hey, shout out to the Cicada for holding it down. It is our fault and Marty's fault for making him sick. Ignore the fact that he doesn't eat vegetables or a well-rounded diet. Drinks coffee and energy drinks 
and stays up all hours of the night screaming at the top of his lungs over drama from the internet. That definitely would not be the cause for why you feel like garbage and are depressed all the time. You need to find purpose in your life, boy. You can't even commit to making your albums. Whatever happened to those? I'm still waiting for the Metal Screamo album, Chance. And I know it sucks. And for those of you that do support me, I know it sucks. But please try to understand that I have to do this for me. I don't know how long I'm going to be gone for. I don't know if I'll even ever come back at this point. I don't know. I would like to come back eventually. I would. But until this bullying me stops, until this harassing me stops, Sorry for the autists that turned the angle of the video. This is the only re-upload I could find for this video, so we'll just have to deal with it. He hopes that he will return to YouTube, and so do we. We are very lucky that he has zero impulse control and will return on literally the same day. I want no involvement with Marty or any of this troll community anymore. I don't want that for myself. I want more for myself. I want to be able to create the content that I used to create. I want to be able to be myself again. And it's not fair that I get robbed of that by people like Marty. No one is stopping you from making content chance. Your laziness and lack of talent is what is stopping you. You don't even acknowledge the trolls on your channels, so don't pretend like that is impacting you. Your love for Marty is definitely not helping the cause. I'm tired of being attacked. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm tired of constantly being depressed and angry and upset all the time. Cause that person that's angry and upset all the time, that's not me. That's not who I am. This person that the internet's made me out to be, that's not who I truly am. Yeah. Of course that isn't you. We've all been deceived. You aren't the monster that you portray. Sure, that isn't true. Both that being said, thank you guys. I love you guys. And just know that I'm okay. And hopefully one day I'll be able to come back. I love you guys. And with that, we come to the end of Cyrax and Call Out Central. Let's have a moment of silence as a sign of remembrance. Oh yeah, he's back and he has an intro this time. I'm sure he definitely didn't steal that music from the background. The most impressive aspect of Cyrax is his ability to come up with names for his several hundred channels. They're all on a similar brand, yet he is able to concoct a new combination each and every single time. He should apply to work at Hallmark, so he can make creative cards to give out during the holidays. That's the only real life job that I think he could hold. Oh, what is up YouTube man, it's your boy. Genius metal. Back here. Somehow, his audio has gotten even worse. You can't even hear him correctly anymore. One of you pay pig trolls needs to send our goblin a 4K camera so that we can get better video and audio quality. Um, I do have my very first sponsor already, uh, which I will be posting on the game channel. As well as on here, I will be shouting them out a lot. Um, I do have a discount code, a couple of discount codes for you guys to my current merchandise. So yeah. But that being said, this is your boy, the one, the only. Oh God, it's going to be like that soap that Cobra is constantly shilling. I'm not so sure about that one, Tubes. Whichever one of you trolls. <laughs> that are convincing him that he has a sponsorship deal, at least make it a product that's funny. Also, where is the watch, Cyrax? 
that went missing all of a sudden after Marty exposed you. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Thank you.